Coming up, we'll look at the latest desktop collaboration updates and experiences for Office on Windows, including continued updates to real-time collaboration in Word and PowerPoint, as well as new built-in chat capabilities. Visibility into your activity on files and improved access to your content in recent folders, content shared with me or stored within sites and groups, our expanded recent files list, and more. Today by Daniel Escapa from the Office Collab team. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. So we've recently expanded real-time collaboration and co-authoring really beyond Word and, and into other Office apps. How does the team think about collaboration? Yeah, as you mentioned, we've recently brought real-time co-authoring to the PowerPoint version of uh, the desktop Windows application, and we're also bringing it to the Excel version in preview. So beyond that, when we think about collaboration, we actually think about three main areas. The first one is the overall co-authoring experience for desktop applications, enable multiple people to work together at the same time without being locked out and being able to focus on being able to work together. Right. Second of all is asynchronous collaboration. People don't always collaborate at the same time, so we've made it easier for you to work together uh, between each other and know who's been making changes since you were last there. And finally, getting back to your content. Getting back to your files is important. Uh, we've built a lot of the Office 365 experiences uh, directly into the desktop application so you can get access to better things like your recent list of files, the sites and groups, and your shared with me list. Now all this integration also means that you can get to the files that you might have spun up in tools like Microsoft Teams because they're ultimately using SharePoint and OneDrive for business to host their files. And you'll see these show up in your recent files list. Can you show us what's new starting with PowerPoint? Sure, yeah. So here I am in PowerPoint. Um, and if you're like me, you probably start working on a deck, but you need other people's help. You know, mm -hmm. I can't just do it alone. I need other people to help fill in their slides or give feedback and give some comments and stuff like right. that. So what I have is I have a blank new presentation. I started putting in some content, uh, but I want to be able to share it out. And what I want to do here is I'm going to quickly go up here to the share button. We put this in the front and center of the application here mm -hmm. so that people can quickly share. I'm going to type in a couple coworkers. Uh, names here. Today you're going to be Adele, uh, Jeremy. I hope that's okay. Yep. And uh, we actually have a couple people in here. I can actually type in my coworkers there. It uses Outlook to get that information. I can change permission if I want. For this one, I just want to give edit. And if I want to leave a message, I can do that. Okay. Now, I started with a blank new document. And what we've done is a new improvement to make it easy for you to upload and get it to the cloud. So I'm just going to choose my account. And I'm going to call it product review uh, for Friday. And what it will do is it will go and save this file and put my OneDrive for Business. It will go ahead and share it out with everybody, and it will be in the cloud. So for me, I can now access this on any of my devices. And for Adele and for Diego and for whomever else, they will get a sharing email, they get a push notification, and they will also have it in their shared with me list. This is really what makes the collaboration possible, because you have to centrally store that file in OneDrive or SharePoint. So if we move over to my desktop here, I've actually got the sharing invite. You're playing the part of Ben Walters today, and I'll click on that. And I see this product review for Friday. And when I click into that file, you'll see I've got the same thing open. It's going to open in PowerPoint Online. And the nice thing is we can actually co-author together in the document, whether we're using the rich client or we're using the online client. So we go ahead and click Edit. Exactly. Edit in browser. And that's going to let me see all the things that you're doing. And you can actually see where I'm at. Yeah, no, that's great. And I can actually see up here, you know, we really want to bring people front and center. You know, when you're working with other people, you want to feel connected with your coworkers. You want to see them. So in the top right hand corner there, I can see people's uh, faces. I can see their name. I can see where they are. And if I want to kick off an individual chat with them, I could do that right in here. And what I really love about this is I like to be able to go, you know, find out where people are and go work with them. Mm -hmm. So here I can see that you're on slide four. I'm going to go to slide four. And in PowerPoint, we have these presence indicators on the left-hand side for the different slides. You can actually see that these two people are here on this individual slide. And we have the presence indicators on the shapes themselves, where I can see people are there and typing. I can go up here and type in my little part up here. Uh, and all of our changes will be syncing together in real time. And we can see each other's updates and saves and all the content just popping in right here. So we're all working together without having any other issues. Other people could join in if they want. We really want to make it easy for you to work together and have everyone there. We've heard from customers that they've been really wanting to be able to do that without being blocked by file locks and stuff like that. One other thing we heard was that, you know, how do I chat with people? Like you and I, we're right here together, but sometimes mm -hmm. you're working with people in a different building or across the country. How do you kick off some type of communication with them? Right. So we've also added a doc chat feature. So I can click on this and it will pop up a chat with the people that are currently in the file. So you can actually chat with them in real time in case you need to. 
we really wanted to have these updates in Office make it so you could work together. You could create from beginning to end all within Office without needing to use anything else. Now this is really great for people that are working on the file at the exact same time, but what if I've got folks that are maybe on different shifts or they're in different time zones across the world? How would I do things asynchronously? Yeah, that's right. Oftentimes I work with people, you know, I'm a night owl, so I like working at night, but other mm -hmm. people, you know, are in different times and stuff like that. So how do we help you know what's been going on? So one other update we've done is we have an activity uh, feed or a little button here. So what I can do is I can click on activity. And what that does is it brings all of the history and activity inside the file here. I like to think about it as like the story. Who's been working on it? Who's been doing which things in the file? So how does this compare to what I can see in terms of versioning in SharePoint, for example? Yeah, you're exactly right. This actually uses the SharePoint technology on the back end to, mm -hmm. to power this. And with one of the recent updates we've done is we now have the versioning inside of OneDrive Consumer, as well as what we had for OneDrive for Business, as well as SharePoint. And since it is the existing version stuff, you can actually click on one of these, open up that old version, and find a bit of content that you think may have been lost, or just restore the whole version. We really want you to not have to worry about those things. This has been a real lifesaver for me because this is the case where a lot of times I might have another co-author or editor on the file. They delete maybe a whole chapter worth of content in Word or a whole sheet inside of Excel. I can bring those things back using the versioning right there in my doc. No, that's exactly right. You know, we really want you to be able to, you know, your work matters. We don't want you to worry about it. We want you to be able to share and work together without having any fear that things will be, you know, lost or, or deleted. We've also brought capabilities that were spread across the browser experiences. So things that we just saw here were things that might have been in, say, OneDrive or SharePoint, really there front and center inside of the Office app experience. So you don't have to leave the context of those apps. But what else has the team been doing in terms of helping you find the files that you're looking for? Yeah, we've really wanted to make sure that you know you can get all the locations. You know, there's a bunch of different locations across Office 365. We wanted to put everything right there inside of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in the file menu. So let me show you a couple of the updates that we have. Okay. So first of all, we have one of my favorite things, which is the most recently used to files. You know, I use this all the time to get back to what I've been working on, and it you know it helps me get find my work. And this is the same list that I might use in OneDrive for Business, for example, or things I might see in a, in a browser if I log into Office 365, right? Exactly, yeah. So this list will actually roam across all of your devices. So all your cloud files, you can actually then access and see them on all your devices. For me, I really like that I can actually pin items, the really important things that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. So what you can actually do is you can actually take any of these items and pin, and then it will actually put it at the top of your list, and that roams across all of your devices. Additionally, if you are just using on your local hard drive, the, the uh, recent list does show those files as well. And those recents really, really help you, again, like you said, finding files across all the devices that you might log in with. Mobile versions of, of Office, as well as the desktop like we see here, OneDrive for Business. But there are other things that you're going to want to do in terms of finding content. So what else have you worked on there? Yeah, so the team has been really hard at uh, work on a variety of things. Let me show you a few of them. First of all, uh, it's shared with me. So as people are working together and sharing more, we really want people to be able to find that stuff. You know, before, I think, you know, we would search for your inbox trying to find those things. So now inside of File Open, Shared With Me, you have a whole list of all the files that have been shared with you and who's been working on those files. So you can actually find that in one quick list. And this is a huge contrast because a lot of people might spend time going into their inbox and find yeah. that sharing mail yeah. or... Again, logging into the browser and trying to look at that shared with me list that OneDrive for Business has. Again, I can use that right within the context of Word in this case, or Excel or PowerPoint, and just get to those files that were shared with exactly. me. Exactly. Um, so the other update that we've had is a lot of people, you know, sites and groups. You know, SharePoint sites are the foundation of many of the technologies in Office 365. Mm -hmm. Things like Microsoft Teams, the Classroom, modern groups. So what we really want to do is, as those are there, we want to help people find that stuff. So you can go to File Open. And inside of this, you can see all of your sites and groups. I only have a few here, but if, as you have more sites and groups, you'll see them all in here, and you can quickly go into all the files in those groups. And one of the final updates we've had is, uh, you know, we've heard a lot from uh, people where they want to get back to recent folders. You know, like, hey, I'm always saving yeah. this in this team site or in this location. So inside of uh, File Save, you have a list of recent folders here. So you can have those important folders where you're always saving things for like a monthly review or anything else, all right here. And this should save you a lot of time in terms of hunting for all these files, like I was mentioning earlier, because I can not only um, find the files I'm looking for, but even save me time in terms of getting to the folders where I want to save content. Yeah, that's right. We really wanted to uh, make all three of these help you find you know, things that are shared with you, all the places that you're working, and get right back to them. So everything is right there with inside of Office. It's really a great tour. And all of these things that were kind of in the browser and spread across Office 365 native now and, and within the context of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, like we saw today, but where would I go to check out and try to try out these experiences? Yeah, so all these updates will be available for Office 365 subscribers. Uh, and if you're a tech enthusiast and you want to try stuff before everyone else, you can actually join our Office Insiders program, and you can try it out, give us feedback. 
If you're an IT pro, make sure you're on the first release, and it'll be coming soon to your tenant. Another great tip for the IT pros watching, you can actually target first release just to a few individuals in your organization, maybe the IT department, a few champions there as well. And of course, keep watching Microsoft Mechanics for the latest in tech updates across Microsoft. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.